Here we go. Oh, it's making it! The prawn suit is 25 meters away! Are we floating or is it floating? What's going on? Are we moving? Are you moving? Here it goes, baby! Hold on, What is up, the world? What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Back! Playing some Subnautica peeps. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day! Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. Make sure if you like the video you see today, please don't forget, show your support, smash that thumbs up button. If you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. So in the last episode, I told you we would try to find out what was behind door number three in the beginning of this episode, pardon me. <laughs> and comes to find out there is no code for this door. That's right, ladies and gentle peeps. I knew there was no code for this door from the previous playthrough, but I assumed that probably it had been updated by now. But that is not the case. There is no code. No code that's listed. So I went ahead and I entered every single code possible. All of the codes. One times, two times, three times, four times. So many codes. So many codes. I'm still just trying random ones, but I couldn't find out what it was. But I know I told you guys we'd find out what's behind the door. I don't really want to cheat. So we're not going to take anything from behind the door, but we are going to enter free look mode. Oh, we're here. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Ah, uh, free cam mode. Ah! What the hell? What the hell is that? <gasps> it's my body. What's my butt look like? Oh, it needs to do squats. Oh, we look very... I mean, we're spelt. Look at his little bulge. So this allows us to go through walls. So at the very least, we can go inside of the door to see what's behind it. We're not going to be able to take anything. We can just see. And I think it'll be pretty cool. Oh. It's a room! Who would have thought? It's a room that has no signal. This is just like all the other rooms. Well, except there is an Aurora poster here. There's a poster for the prawn suit somewhere, too. I think we're going to have to go back and grab that. Um, but, yeah, there's the Aurora poster that's in here. And there's some sort of something something that we can download from this guy. And there's this guy right here. It's a little Aurora toy. Super unbelievable and amazing. Very, very cool. Want so much. Can't wait for them to allow us to open the door. Why aren't they allowing us to open the door? I have no idea. It doesn't make any sense. There's cool stuff here. It's probably end game stuff. Let's pop back over here. Let's, let's, let's position ourselves directly above our body. Just so that we can make sure that our head attaches. Oh, I can't. Oh, that was weird. Perfectly and amazingly back in. Squirt. Oh, oh, we almost fell through the world. Holy moly. All right, so we're back inside of the Aurora. Now, uh, space is at a premium. We don't have a lot of room for stuff and things. There was that poster. There's another bag here. I want to put a bag inside of a bag inside of a bag. Oh, can we even do that? <gasps> you know, we were having problems with the space of the bags. Can we put a bag inside of a bag? Hold on. Uh, no. Well, you could, but it just takes up exactly the same amount of room. Right? Oh, but. Let me see here. Oh, we've done it! He's done it, ladies and gentle peeps! So let's go ahead and uh, let's come over here. Let's squirt this bag out. Okay. So, oh, no, 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 no. We gotta, oh, this is gonna take a minute. Drop this bag. So, how's this gonna work again? We need to get to the point where we can open the storage of the bag. And we need to empty all the stuff out of here. Now, let's look at the uh, storage of this bag. It is empty as well. So now, can we pick up this bag? And then what we want to do is open this storage and squirt this bag in that bag. Okay, we've done it. Now. Let me see here. Open the storage of this bag. All right, it's not going to allow us to do it. So what we need to do... You see here, take all of these out, and then we'll drop all this water. Oh, I drank a bunch of it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so that's the bag inside of the bag. This is the empty bag, right? Okay, so let's pick up this carry-all, and then squirt it in this bag. We've done it. He's done it, ladies and gentle peeps. A bag inside of a bag inside of a bag. Inventory full. Crap. We've got way too much stuff and things. Uh, is that one of these fire extinguishers? Blah, blah, blah. We need our toy. We want our engine modules. Really, all the water and stuff like that. It just isn't something that we really need to carry. 
Um, all these batteries too. I mean, we just don't need them. We don't need the water either. It's not that big of a deal. We can always get more stuff and things at a later date. All right, so let's go ahead and head back over. This guy right here, inventory full. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and start dropping, I think, batteries. Okay, we'll keep one guy. Can we grab it now? Nail the ace to KB stopped. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. It's just one deal big. All right. Okay, we're good. We got it. All right, so we got the prawn poster deal. We're good to go with that. Um, what else did I think? There's a PDA right here. Responsible autonomous relationships. That sounds like people and aliens mating. So we're going to leave this bag here. And let's, let's just go ahead and open it. Hmm. We could put this bag inside of that bag and then take this bag. Ha 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 ha! We're amazing! Science! All right, I feel like we're good to go now. Did these fires respawn? Wait a second here. Did I not go? Wait, 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 wait. Is there another prom poster over here? Oh, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, Let's grab this guy. I feel like there's part of this area that we haven't discovered yet. Can we open this? No. No scanny scan? No scanny deals? What do you got for me here? Ooh, water. You know what? I feel like we need to consume that last Reginald. Let's go ahead and get our flamethrower. Flamethrower? Fire extinguisher. The opposite of... Oh! Fire so tricksy! There's more bags in here, but guess what? We figured out the secret to the bags! Open storage. Put a bag in here. And then take the bag. Is this gonna really work? <laughs> like, how many bags are in there now? Is it going to remember all of the bags? God, this water. There's a PDA. TransGov Profile Altera Corporation. Uh, uh, uh. All right, this bag now. Into this bag. How many bags do we even have now? There's like six bags. I don't even... I'm just... Cons I, I, I can't imagine that it's going to allow us... Why is my stuff and things all out of whack here? What goes in this slot? This does. What goes in this slot? All right, there's our Kniffy uh, scanner. And then we'll keep the fire extinguisher. So, um, yeah, like, I guess we missed this part earlier. We already got this room. Okay, some stuff and things over here, maybe. There's another bag! Open storage, put it back. There's like seven bags now. Okay, we got it. Surprise, <laughs> there's so many bags. What is this? Natural selection poster. Cool, man. What do we got in there? Med kit? Hot med kit action? I'm not seeing any more scan icon deals. Uh, pretty sure there's nothing we could do over here. No, can't go up there. Just trying to see... If we missed anything. We may have. We definitely might have. It's it's a There's a distinct possibility that some stuff and things may have been missed. Oh, this poster over here. Oh, yeah, baby. The hot keep calm poster action in our lives. This is good stuff. And let's just check this storage room again. I feel like we're good. All right. I think we've pretty much done what we've come to accomplish here. Let's just take a look and see really quickly. We got eight new deals. Let's go through. Keep our eyes peeled right there. Prawn suit. That's what we're going to have to work on. I want to work on that today. I'd love to get a prawn suit ready to rock and roll. Uh, prawn suit grappling arm. We still need one of those guys and we probably we really need the grappling arm Also, I don't know if the prawn suit comes with the drill arm or if you have to build that too uh, Psychop engine uh, Efficiency module and the hull module mk1 nailed the days to can't be stopped and What else right there bed one narrow bed wall shelves and single wall shelves? Um, got some hot warnings in our lives, let's get rid of those guys. And then inside of here, we have all sorts of stuff. All the data downloads that we got and stuff and things like that. So, very, very successful, but it's time to escape. We need to make our way back out to the Cyclops. All right, we're almost out. I think these fires respawn. All right, that's it. We're free. We're free. We did it. Also, if you remember from the last episode, I said that elevator. How are we going to get back up? There's little uh, walkways. Oh, you want to go, son? You want to take it to the limit? 
That's what you get? So there's little walkways on the left and right sides that allow you to... Oh, there's our guy. Who? Yeah, baby! Diamond! We're in. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab Brenda. Come here, Brenda. Thanks, Brenda. Let's get inside. Let's dock. Oh, took some damage there again. All systems online. Thank you very much. It's nice to... Wow! That was weird. It's nice to be here. Oh, engine off. Let's go ahead and kick it under full drive, baby. Let's go. We got to make a hot right-hand turn here. Let's go, guys. Let's see if we can make it out the same way we made it in. Right straight through here. Through the chompers and you're home free. Galaxy Quest reference check. Oh. All right, we're good to go. We got this thing. We got this thing. All right, so we are now going to head back to our base, to base place one, and take a look at what kind of hot prawn suit stuff and things we're going to need. You know what? While we're over here, let me take a look here really quickly and see. Do we do we have the need for materials? We might go ahead and grab some stuff and things. Look at all these med kits I've got now. Unbelievable amount. And hot water action in our lives. You know what? We have so much stuff. I'm not even going to bother with gather resource, gathering resources now. I'm just going to head back to the base. Do a little bit of inventory maintenance. And look into what we're going to need in order to make the prawn suit. And we are back at our base area place. Let's go ahead and squirt this guy right inside. Whoops. Look at glove. I've done a little bit of stuff and things. Not, not too much, but a little bit. I went back to the old base to grab the um, mobile vehicle mobile vehicle bay deal. This guy right here, we needed that in order to make... I'm pretty sure that's where the prawn suit gets made. That's where it used to get made. Let's go ahead and head right up here. And we're going to deploy this bad boy directly over our base area place. Wow, this is quite a little bit of a... I didn't realize we were so deep. Also, our base is starting to look really good. Like, it's a good looking base. I'm just saying. All right, let's head up over here like so. Grab this guy. What if we just release it like that? Bam. Nailed it. Ace the camp. Stop. All right. Climb up on this bad boy. Let's take a look at some stuff and things here. Use mobile vehicle bay. Deal. Prawn suit. There it is. Aluminum oxide crystal times two. Plasteel ingots times two. Aerogel. I have no idea how to make aerogel. I've never seen that before. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write this down. Uh, if I can get, like, my... Uh, and then I need the... Okay, we got it. Nail the dice games up. All right. So, um, aluminum oxide crystals. We need two of those. Plasteel ingots. We need two of those. We've got plasteel ingots. That's no big deal. Uh, we've got two of those guys. Aerogel. I'm not even sure what that is. And lubrican. We got that. We got lubricant in space. So, okay. Those are all the stuff things we need. Also, we have some uh, Cyclops upgrades in here. I kept those in my inventory. and We need to go ahead and take a look at that. Oh, you know what else I'm wondering about real quick? Did they change the... There's. I think there's a way to turn some of these overlays off now. Uh, right here, ping manager. There it is. Because I think these guys would be best... Wait, what? Did I not click them both? There we go. And then the original life pod will keep that guy on. But yeah, we don't really need to know what those guys are. All right, let's go ahead and pop inside of here real quick. Oh, you know what? I might need. I might even need these to make the next level of deals. We have the Cyclops efficiency uh, engine efficiency module right here and the pressure compensator. I don't know if... Oh, Seamoth and Prawn compatible. Okay. So let's go ahead and head back over here to where we can get our upgrades going. We shall squirt one, this guy, right inside of here, like so. Bam. Nail the to KB stop. Super unbelievable and amazing! Reduces or recycles heat by product to increase engine efficiency. Amazing. We've done it. He's done it, ladies and gentlemen, peeps. All right. Squirt down over here. Head out. And uh, we can install this. I think we can actually use the pressure compensator to make a better pressure compensator. If we take a look inside of here, Cyclops upgrades. Yeah, Cyclops hull module, MK2. Okay, we don't even have the original hull module. Seamoth, pressure right there. Pressure compensator, MB, MP, uh, MK2. More plastic ingots, aluminum oxide, computer chips. All right, aerogel. Let's, let's take a look in here. Is that under... 
advanced materials, synthetic fibers, benzene. Have we just like not learned aero gel stuff and things yet? We may not have. I am Jack's complete not knowing about aerogel. Hmm. And we're back. Bag inside of a bag inside of a bag. There you go. Is there a bag in here? Yep. All right, we're good. Is there a bag inside of that bag? Let's let's check. Let's check real quick. Let's put this that bag inside of that bag. Let's put this bag down. Is there a bag inside of here? Wait, no. Here we go. Yeah, there's another bag in there. Okay, and what if we take this bag and we put this bag here? Is there a bag inside of here? There's a lot of bags here. We take this bag, put this bag right here. Is there a bag inside of this bag? Yep. This just keeps going forever and ever, never ends. Put this bag down. Open that bag. There's just another bag. This is bags and bags. Put that bag down over there. Open this bag. Another bag. Okay. And what if we take this bag and put it down here? What do we get? Nothing! <laughs> Seven bags, baby! Also, I built a trash can, by the way. Right over here. It's kind of smelly. I feel like I gotta take the trash out. Is that... Is this beeping? What's beeping? The bags are kind of in the way. I feel like that's this. Yeah, it's the relay. All right, so I'm pretty sure the reason that we can't make the arrow gel is because we have not discovered gel sacks. Now, there's a couple different places you can find these. There's a narrow twench. twench. Yeah, Elmo Ford, there's a narrow twench in the safe shallows. Uh, in the safe shallows near the small wreck closest to the Aurora. They can also be found abundantly in the Lost River and Deep Grand Reef with a few in the Bonefield Caves. Gel sacks can also be found around the roots of the trunk of the giant tree in the mushroom uh, biome in the northwestern mushroom forest. So, gel sacks are what we need to find. Um, we probably need some hot food action in our lives. We can just grab one of these guys. Wait, I have food on my Cyclops. That's the pressure compensator for that. Alright, so what we're going to need to do next is go ahead and head. We're going to take our Cyclops. We're going to head back over to the Aurora. Do I have my guy in here? Yeah, we're good. So we're gonna head back over to the Aurora. I'm pretty sure I've seen that trench. Um, I don't remember exactly where it's at, but I'm pretty oh, sure we'll find it. Oh, I'm cavitating. This is, I'm completely aware of the cavitation. All right, we're gonna head to the trench, I think. And we're back. I feel like this is what they're talking about. This looks like a narrow trench to a wreck that is closest to the Aurora. So, I'm pretty sure this is where we need to be. Let's go ahead and grab our our buddy here. Let's get into Brenda and see what's up. Also, while we have the pressure compensator, I mean, I guess we really don't need to Welcome use it right now. Whoa. Okay, we're in. Turn the lights off. Gel sacks. Gel sacks are what we're after. I've never seen a gel sack. Of course, the information that I may have been provided could also be incorrect. This looks like a lot of hot crystal action, which is good. Never shake a stick at some free crystal. Easy crystal, baby. There's a lot of stuff and things in here. Creature egg. I'm not really looking for those right now. I'm not seeing these gel sacks, baby. Where are they at? Is this it? Is this a gel sack? Purple brain coral. Not a gel sack. What if we... Oh, what did we just get right there? Brain coral sample. Okay. Perfectly makes perfect sense. All right. Let's head back over this way a little bit. I feel like we're in the right area, like, from the description that I was reading. Oh, did I just get jammed up? Oh, I certainly did. Oh, I'm out. Okay, we're free. Ooh, we need a little bit of repair. <laughs> a little bit of heart repair action. This looks like the narrow trench. This is exactly what they're talking about. All I'm seeing is crystal. Ooh, back up. I mean, I'll take it all. No gel sacks. We already were over there. Hmm, where could they be? Oh, gel sacks! 
Do I have my inventory full of crystal now? No, okay. These are definitely them. These are definitely gel sacks. Pick up the gel sack. Well, first, let's go ahead and scan the gel sack because scanning gel sacks is very important when you first find a gel sack. I don't know if you guys are into gel sack stuff and things, but this is very important. There's another gel sack. Nailed it. All right, we got two. I'm feeling like we want to go ahead and look around, pick up as many uh, hot gel sacks action piece deals as we can. What are you, guy? What is that? It's a weird looking creature egg that I've not seen before. Let's head down around. Whoa, there's two of them. I don't know what those guys are. We'll grab those two guys. I'm not seeing any more gel sacks. There's just two? Is that it? Maybe that's enough. Oh, there's one. Oh, yes. Nice, nice, nice. All right, three. How big are these guys? All right, they're small. No big whoop at all. All right, so cool. We got gel sacks. We have some gel sacks um, and lots and lots of crystal. I'm going to go ahead and take a look around to see if there's any more that I can find. And we're going to head back to base. And we're back at base. Uh, I may have crashed my Cyclops into the Seamoth Bay, but I thought this bulkhead would stop my base from... I thought that's what the bulkhead was for! Okay, the, the, the may have caused a big problem. Hey, hopefully, hold on here. Okay, let's go ahead and get these guys repaired. Hull integrity restored. Okay, we're doing better. Training systems initiated. All right, guys, hold on. Let me come over here. Sorry about that, Seamoth Bay. Sorry, buddy. Are you draining? How's the draining going? Is it happening? I feel like it's happening. It's just taking a second. All right, guys. So after much gathering of the stuff and things, also two of our bags have changed color. So after much gathering of the stuff and things, I do believe we're ready to craft it up. I craft up all the stuff we need. So two plastic lingots. Uh, two titanium ingots and lithium. Nail the days to cave stuff. We got those. Ready to rock and roll. Now that we found the aerogel. Yes, ladies and gentle peeps. In fact, we are able to create aerogel. It is a square. Uh, because aerogel is light, porous, dry gel, high heat insulation. Bam. So I ended up only finding two other gel sacks in the area. And thank goodness gracious sakes alive, I had just exactly the correct amount of uh, aluminum oxide crystals. I had uh, dose. So no, 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 no. Quattro. So, um, we were good to go there as well. Now, let's head up. Hopefully, this is going to spawn. Okay, we'll be good. Let's head up over here and take a look. Climb. All right, hold on a second here. Let's just, uh, we want to make sure we get the optimum stuff and things. Here we go. Oh, it's making it! The prawn suit is 25 meters away! Are we floating or is it floating? What's going on? Are we moving? Are you moving? Here it goes, baby! Hold on, hold on. There it is, baby! The prawn suit! Where's it going? Oh, hey! Why does it fall exactly this far? And then it's good to go. Look how cool it is, man! Hot prawn suit action in our lives! This thing is unbelievable. Oh my god. I want one of these in real life. Like, it would be way better than the Seamoth, right? Because you can use this guy on land. Alright, let's get in. We are in. And we're falling! Oh, yeah, baby. That's what's up. Oh, we're in it. Stuff things are happening. Oh, yeah, baby. All right. We need the interface deal. All right. So we've got thruster power. Let's see if they've made any changes. So you can get pretty high with a thrust. Not super high. Oh, wow. I think they did give you more thrust. Now, what happens if we land on our base? Is that going to hurt our base? Okay, we got to... Whoa, and then... Oh, okay, we're just going to... Oh, and then now we're just falling. Wow, okay. So, thrusters do uh, recharge pretty fast. Oh, it's pretty hard to control. All right. We're on the base. Um, feels kind of weird. I wonder if that hurt our base. I don't really know. Also, I wonder if we can thrust, like... Can we jump on top of the Cyclops? I don't think that's good. I feel like we may have damaged something. 
Let's come over here. Also, the lag is real right now with this guy. Okay, you good to go right here, homie? Let's go ahead and uh, let's go up into our Cyclops and take a look and see here. Welcome aboard, Captain. I just want to see if the Cyclops got damaged. Uh, let's go like so. Then we can look. No, didn't take damage at all. Totally good. Nailed the ace escape stop. Unbelievable and amazing. All right. So we should be able to dock our prawn suit. I think you can dock the prawn suit in the moon pool. I'm not sure. You can dock the prawn. Where's our prawn suit? You can dock it in the, uh, in the Cyclops. Let's see if we can dock it inside of here. Oh, yeah, baby. We're in. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right. Now, here's our upgrade stuff and things to access the upgrades. Now, can we get the pressure compensator in there? We can. We're going to need to craft more than that. We got to put these creature eggs somewhere, too. This thing is so cool, man. We need some hot arm action for it. Oh, you know what I didn't see? It has arms. And we were asking, I was asking earlier if... Oh, does it land right here? That's not bad. So... It uh, looks like these are just attack arms. So we need to find... Let me see here. Can we pick up stuff and things with this? Oh, we did it! Now we need to find like a deposit of something to see if we need the drill arm deal. Or if we can just drill with like our regular arms. Hmm. I think we need to get the drill arm too. Let me see if I can find one of those hot deposits around it. Oh, you know what? I know where there's one. And we're back. So, definitely need the drill arm. It is absolutely a thing. Also, oh, what are you? Uh, thermal plant fragment. Already found you, buddy. That's cool. So, um, started looking into all the upgrades that we're going to need. And in order to make them, we're going to need a, a lot of uh, the aluminum oxide crystal. We used all of it up making our prawn suit. So, I had to come over here to the Grand Reef to get some more. Or I am getting some more here at the Grand Reef. Um, there's a couple places you can get the aluminum oxide crystal. How much? Here we go. Oh. 30 seconds. Uh, you can get it in the Grand Reef, and we can get it on Sea Treader's Path. So e those two places are where I'm going to start to look around. And we're going to need a bunch. I mean, the next episode most likely will be a lot of crafting because I want to start to make up all of the MK everything. So I want to get all the upgrades going. Whoa, hello. Hello, Super Globe. I want to get all the upgrades. There's some right there. More crystal I saw. Morning. Right there, big boy. So those big, uh, those deals, are, are we still moving? Why? Couldn't we be stopped? Weird. So those big uh, deposits right there are copper. So once we go ahead and get the drill arm, we can come and get like massive amounts of resources. But we need like all the stuff and things for the prawn suit. We need the thruster upgrade. Uh, I mean, just all the stuff and things. And a lot of it uses this stuff. So this is why we are here. So, like I was saying, I think that's going to happen in the next episode, peeps. Today, we got the prawn suit made. Had some hot adventure action in our lives. What is that noise? But now it's time to gather up aluminum oxide crystals. So, make sure you tune in next time so we can get some hot upgrade action done on all of our stuff and things. I want to do Cyclops. What is this guy? Lead? Oh, cool, man. I want to do upgrades to the Cyclops. Upgrades to the Seamoth. Upgrades to the prawn suit. Salt deposit. We're going to be able to get so much stuff and things done. So, I don't know why I sound a little Minnesotan right there. So much. But we're going to be able to get so much more stuff done once we can go a little bit deeper with all of our devices. We have a little bit more power, the ability to drill stuff and things. It's going to be unbelievable and amazing. So thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today while we made the prawn suit. Major technological advancements. Make sure if you like the video you saw today, please don't forget to show your support. Smash that thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. I made the stuff and things be with you.